Buenos dias from Mexico City. We're Madison and Ivan, and today's mad venture is exploring La Merced, the largest market in Mexico City, and I think the largest market that I've ever seen in my life. So we are very excited. We're planning to get some delicious food. We're planning to buy some great produce, probably purchase some fruits and vegetables that we've never seen before. And this sweet market behind me looks insane. So I'm excited for some sweets. My sweet tooth is chomping at the bit. We came on a weekday and it is unimaginable how crowded it is on a Tuesday afternoon. I'm so glad we wanted to come on the weekend. I'm so glad we didn't, I can't imagine. We are not exaggerating when we say this market is huge. It has taken us over a half an hour wandering through the maze of shoes, produce, meat vendors, and more shoes to finally find the section with some food stalls. And we are starving. Gracias. Okay, so this is caldo de gallina, which is one of the most popular dishes here at La Merced. It is a hen soup. Kind of looks like your classic chicken noodle soup vibe. It's like a good amount of chicken fat. It looks really yummy. Mm. Oh wow. That was really hearty. Ooh, good amount of salt too. Very flavorful. And there's a good, kind of like an acidic, like tangy flavor to it. I like this better than your typical chicken noodle soup. This is yummy. And I got it with Thai meat, the muslo. Let's try some of that. Mmm, that is so tender. I just, like you can just push it and it falls off the bone. Wow. And that's just a soup regular. We got all these mix-ins to play with. That's what's next. Wow. That completely changes the color of it. It's a brand new soup. Mm. Now it's got some heat too. That salsa is spicy. The whole chilies in it. This is perfect for a rainy day. Mm. The red sauce is like this nice smoky spiciness to it. Cilantro adds, you know, that pack of freshness. This is delicious. The quantity of these fresh fruits and vegetables is completely insane. Mountains of onions, carrots, garlic, and there are several stalls around selling more mountains of the same vegetable. There are at least 20 of these cactus booths all in a row. How do you even choose which one to go to? Most of these stalls only sell in bulk, but luckily we found a spot that doesn't with something we feel we need to try. These are the biggest corns I've ever seen. Literally bigger than my fingernails are these kernels. This is gonna be crazy. All of this walking around and looking at delicious fruits and vegetables has us ready for more food. This is a pomposo. It is a torta sandwich. Um, the bread I think has tomato on it. And then it has some sausage, some potatoes, lettuce, cheese. Mm. The flavor of the sausage and the potatoes, they're just so well seasoned. It's just delicious. It's so filling. I'm really glad we're splitting it too because it does have a lot of grease and oil, but in that perfect hangover cure kind of way. There's spicy hash brown in there. This gives me, in the best way, Waffle House vibes. The hash browns all the way. It's just like everything in there. This will fill you up. Mm -hmm. And get you real greasy. Perfect to have a nice, sweet drink with because of how kind of salty and savory it is. <laughs> This is very sweet, very delicious. Called Boeing. Not the company, more like the noise. 
the onomatopoeia. Mango flavor. Delicious. And I just made that like a gourmet meal. And I'm not eating it like a gourmet person. <laughs> wow. The green salsa just ta takes this kind of greasy meal and it gives it this fresh quality, this like super freshness. It almost feels like it's healthy now, but like in a good, like delicious, spicy, flavorful way. It makes you feel a lot better about all of the oils, greasiness, and fattiness that we're consuming. Oh yeah. This is street food at its finest. Now some good stuff. This is the biggest candy store I have ever seen in my life. I'm in heaven. What do you want? Yes. Yes. And now, Ivan's version of a candy store. Every meat you could ever imagine. Viva Mexico! Ivan and I collect ornaments when we travel and this is one of my favorite ones we have ever found. Look at him with his little Dos Equis, his Mexican flag, Viva Mexico. It's perfect because we are here during the Independence Day celebration so his patriotic spirit is very much alive here. I'm so excited. He was a dollar and he's so cute. We finally made it to the Mercado del Flores, one of the most historic, beautiful, and relaxing parts of the market. But it is pouring down rain, and we are not adequately prepared for this. That was an abrupt change of scenery. We are now back at our place. We have all of the things from our market here ready to try out, but it is the next day because things got pretty insane yesterday. Mm -hmm. I stepped in a hole full of mysterious black fluids, so <laughs> that's fun. Then it started pouring down rain outside, which is also inside La Merced because some of it is not in a main overall building. Tried to wait out the, the storm a little bit, but it didn't seem to be slowing down at all. Hopped in an Uber, got back home. And then there was one of the biggest earthquakes I have ever felt. So it has been a crazy 24 hours, but we are finally trying the delicious foods we picked up. Let's start with the corn. So this is the world's largest corn grains and like they look like they are fighting each other for space. It's like monstrous. I pulled off this kernel. It is literally the size of my thumbnail. We will also prepare this corn in our favorite way that we learned here. Mayo that has lime juice already mixed in. And on top of that, some salsa matcha, which is mostly chili and oil, but super good on corn. Really, really nice kick to it. And you just mix it in. It looks messy and it is <laughs> messy to handle, but totally worth it. Plus the mess just means you can lick your hands afterwards and get more of this awesome salsa. Whoa. So we've all eaten corn on the cob for most of our lives, but it is so satisfying to bite into it and get this much in return. One single bite, so much corn. And that is meaty. It's very much uh, a savory corn. I'm mixing that with the spice and the mayo on the outside. Great flavor. Mmm. If you think of like the corn we usually have, that's like snack corn. Mm -hmm. This, this is like meal corn. <laughs> 
I don't mean to give you a corny earful. This is some of the best corn I have ever had. Next we have an oblea. This is a pistachio flavored oblea. We got three of these guys for about 25 cents. I have no idea what to expect from this. It looks kind of like wafery, kind of papery. Hmm. So usually I read that these do have a filling in them, but for 25 cents, I can't complain that this one does not. This one is pistachio flavored. And so I think they must have used some sort of pistachio extract in making the wafer itself. Kind of has, to me, a little bit of fortune cookie vibes. It was nice, slightly sweet. Very pretty and fun. They had so many of these at the market in all different colors and sizes and flavors. This is good. I'm gonna try a filled one next time though. The first thing you notice is that really satisfying crisp. I don't know if anyone else sometimes just bites into something and is like, wow, that is a great mouthfeel. I'd say this is like 90% mouthfeel like, and 10%, this very, very light, subtle pistachio flavor. From a sweetness perspective, very, very mild. It just starts to dissolve the moment it hits the, the moisture in your mouth. All right, I like that. It was even satisfying to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, we have these little marshmallow guys. I was kind of thinking that this was just mostly gonna taste like a marshmallow, but there's a very strong watermelon scent. Hello, are you a watermelon? No, I'm a chili pepper. What? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're not entirely sure what these are, but we saw so many of them at the market and they had such a wild variety from things for baby showers, things for bachelorette parties. These Is are patriotic and the colors of the Mexican flag. So good. This is like a watermelon flavored peep. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> it's good though. Oh no, he lost all his hair. <laughs> so I have a white star and Ivan has a red star. Mine's like pina colada flavor. Mm. And it's a gummy, this one's not a peep. I think mine is a cherry. Next, you have a little flower marshmallow. This, mm. I don't think is a marshmallow. It looks kind of like a dots, but with layers. They're like cotton candy flavor. Now, I'm more of a chocolate guy, but these were pretty good. Ivan, what was your favorite thing that we ate today? Mm. And yesterday. This isn't my usual speed. My favorite was actually the hen soup. No way. Yeah, the uh, caldo de caina. Caina? Caina. I think, but the reason I liked it so much is because it's something that was like very specific to where we were. It was mm. something that you're not gonna find everywhere. We haven't found like hen soup just about, you know, anywhere, but you That's know, you'll true. get tacos, tortas, you know, you'll get, you'll get street corn in a lot of places. That was a very unique experience. And just seeing like how fresh it was, like how they were making it hearty, filling. Oh, it was really good. And they were going through it so fast. There were so many locals yeah. there. Yeah, and I think like the fact that you can kind of add in your own your own salsas, your own level of spice, like you could go there and have a different meal every single time you went, just based on how you did it. Yeah, it was a choose your own mad adventure. Yeah. So my favorite thing that we tried in the past 24 hours was the pombazo. That torta with the chorizo, potato, soaked in tomato with some lettuce. I mean, it was so greasy, but the, the lettuce, the tomato, it is so fresh. And then that green salsa was insane. It was yeah. so delicious. So just the perfect amount of spicy and fresh. And I could go, I could go drink that salsa. And that also reminds me, with the pambazo, we got the, the Boeing oh, yeah. juice. And I think that just made it, right? The greasiness and uh, that paired with that like sweet kick that just like cleansed your palate and like had you ready for another bite. That was Definitely. a good, good drink. We hope you had a good drink of adventure with us today. It's always special to explore a place through food. Such a reminder that across the globe, we are so similar, but also individually unique. 
Eating something as basic as a chicken soup and it tasting so different and special is a beautiful representation of this. Thank you for joining us for this mad venture. We will have many more here in Mexico City and we hope you come along. It helps us a lot if you could please click that like and subscribe button. Always follow the maddest adventures on your heart and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>